In light of the information passed out by the NHS regarding advising patients about the coronavirus, this short video will cover off how to use a pre-written template to send a message to your patients. To do so, you will require a list of the patients you need to send the message to. To do so, you'll need to go through your clinical system and extract a patient list. Now that's likely to be all currently registered patients. Extract that as a CSV file. And in that file, the key piece that MJOG's looking for is column A. And in there will either be your EMIS patient numbers, or if your system won, a list of NHS numbers. Save this somewhere easy to find, probably on your desktop, and then log into your MJOG system. Go through communicate with my patients. It's the same as any other big invite or recall. And you're gonna be in the campaigns tab on the left-hand side. From here, you can go to download templates where we've already provided in the information section template called COVID-19 advice. We can see what the template looks like with the icons to the right. We have a blue one for text messages and a little black obelisk for any patients who are using MJOG Messenger so they receive this message to the app. The key point is the messages will send the patient over to NHS 111 online where of course the information will be regularly updated. Click download templates over to the right and it'll tell you that it's downloaded the message. At the bottom of your page, go back to previous page. You'll then find a copy of the template in your list. So we have it COVID-19 advice. If you download the same template multiple times, it'll just put a figure after the title. Click on the template name. You want the message to go by as many channels as you have available, so need these both in place. And on this page, if you have a fallback option appear, do you mean sure there's a tick in that box? This will help ensure that patients who may have once upon a time had the app but no longer do, they do receive the text instead. So they will receive this information. Click continue. We already have our message. If you do want to change it, you certainly can go through setup message template and make any adjustments you wish to do. Next is to feed it our patient list, our CSV file. Select patient file or group. And in patient file, we can choose file. And we find our spreadsheet. Upload that. It will find your patients in a list. It'll then give us a summary of how many it can and cannot reach. Your figure should be somewhat more successful than this. Those which you cannot send to, we'll have a list of those near the top of the page. They have no way which we can reach them, neither by mobile or through the app or by other channels. At the bottom of the page, there's a continue button. Set up delivery options to pick when you want this message to go. Pick a date in the calendar. And continue. Optionally, you may want to add into the patient record that they have received this message. To do so, we're going through set up response filters. And we're going to attach our codes to messages delivered. And we need to do this in both sections, both for smart and for text. Click the green cross on messages delivered. Don't worry about these options, just continue straight through and tell it which code you want to apply. Adding any comments you wish to add. Again, we need to put this into both tabs on the left hand side.
with those in place, continue. And your message is now ready to send. Through send messages, you will have the option to send yourself a copy of the message as well. Put your details down in these boxes along with your number. You can send a test message, which you'll receive in the next minute or so to see what it looks like in your phone. Alternatively, use the tick box below and then when the message arrives in your handset, then the patients are receiving the message as well. Click on send messages. It'll ask you to confirm that. Press start. And your message is ready to go. There will be a delay. With any campaign message from MJOG, the system goes to the top of the hour and then adds another hour. I've just hit send on this at 20 past 12. As such, this message wouldn't go until 2 p.m.